We are uh, just getting downtown. Um, still a little ways from some of the action. You can see fireworks going off. You can see fires burning. I'm gonna try and get an eye on this view, on this bridge. We've got this exit closed off here. We're gonna try and get a bird's eye view. Looks like a lot of cars are stopped up here for the same reason. Let me wipe off my camera in a sec when I stop. It's a little fuzzy. You can see smoke, fires burning. It's a big blaze. It's a big blaze. That is a little bit outrageous. Gas out here, This is a watch party. Um, look at all the people. There's a ton of people up here. More fireworks. I'm still a distance away. I'm just giving you the look of the uh, perimeter, I suppose. I'm surprised to see this many people up here. Um, it's pretty crazy to see fires burning. It reeks like good tree though. Shout out Minneapolis for the good tree. And shut up, you know I'm playing. We're going back to uh, the trail. We're gonna get up in there. Hey, if you feel so compelled, if you feel so compelled, uh, host this. I've repeated it multiple times, but I'm not doing this for me. Uh, I think there's strength in numbers. Uh, my presence feels powerful here. I don't condone any of the violence on either side. I don't intend on participating on any of the violence. But it feels, I feel obligated as a human being in the morals I tell myself I believe in to be here um, and play some type of role. I don't know what that is exactly, but broadcasting this to you um, kind of feels like part of it. Hopefully we can spread some good energy in a time like this. There's some, some pretty emotional, pretty, pretty wild emotions yesterday. Just kind of still the scene around. Part of it seems like nothing is happening. If you look just over there, you see the fires burning. NWA has probably gotten the billion streams on Fuck the Police. See the fires? There's flames coming out of here. Or smoke, I mean, unless it's just in the air. Here's the intersection we intended on closing yesterday. Here's the precinct from out front. Heads up, brother man. The view from outside. We've got a pretty large barricade set up. Riot police here. In riot gear, they've got this whole street closed off. We're gonna get in that, get in that parking lot. That shit is burning to the ground. This is seen here. Target. Oh, firework. Absolute anarchy.
get up to this fire here, kind of see what the mood is. What are people hoping to achieve, I wonder, by setting shit on fire? They're going to burn this entire building down. Look at that. Look at this building. This is new construction. It's just framework. I guarantee there's no fireproofing yet. It's just a frame. That's going to burn. It's going to burn. This is going to be a massive fire. This is going to be a massive fire, you guys. This is ridiculous. There's a crane right beside it also. A uh, construction crane. Look at this. We're gonna check back on that. That fire is gonna be a big blaze. That fire is gonna be huge. That fire is not okay. There's some smoke coming from this Cub Foods. I'm just gonna roll by here. I got some high vis on right now. Like high, high visibility shirt. My intention is to uh, make myself known. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to uh, hide myself. I think the coals inside of Cub Foods are burning. It smells like coal. I need to stop quick. I need to get out my camera. Hey, you better hustle. Just hustle. I ruined my lens last night, so these photos, I'm taking them on a very old camera. Yeah, unfortunately, Arthur, I agree with you. You're right. There, um, anyone that's new, not long ago, there was, there's a fire that auto's on fire, I'm sure everyone's heard about. Looks like it's extended to this uh, 
building that's that's under construction. And I can almost guarantee from the looks of it, it doesn't have any adequate, that's a firework going off, any adequate fireproofing. I'm worried that building is gonna be a massive blaze. This one I'm kind of directing towards right now. You know, I, I don't know. One good point that I heard, not that it supports the violence, but um, might make officers make a second, second, second choice or uh, rethink their decision as to if they're gonna proceed, you know, with their excessive force or whatever, because we'll see what it, what happened to the community last time. This, in particular, that is not good. I'm gonna stop talking. I need to pay attention. Hopefully that's electric. Is it? Okay. It's good to know. get situated here that's what I'm concerned about I'm, I'm currently behind a tree uh, worst case scenario out of here. That's getting pretty big. Be careful that crane. It's turning black quick. I have video of his mother, I believe. I don't know for sure. That's what I heard the crowd say, but pleading for this to not turn violent.
Watch out, that's button one. Recording a music video. So just kind of getting a sense of around here. So, so they'll be the it seems to be where the majority of the action is. Yeah, I would agree. It's pretty unfortunate. There's ignorance on, there's ignorance everywhere. Unfortunately, it's, seems to be some level of ignorance that led to the, the death in the first place. This is just the most major fire here. Some supplies going up. They're setting a perimeter over here, it looks like. Hey guys, I don't know. There's a couple squad cars down here that are new, so just heads up. That are new. the Aldi. Presumably being looted currently. Kind of just doing a perimeter here. A circle. I hear more sirens coming in. Kind of want to get... Unless that's fire. Yep, fire truck. There you see. Hey, if anyone uh, is listening to a scan or anything, feel free to give me updates if anything you hear. Um, that I can maybe head towards or want to be aware of. That would be great. There's too much laughter right now. It's not fun in games. Lots of people. More fireworks. More emergency vehicles too. Coming in down the street here.
Her car is just straight up pulling up to this cub. Thanks, I'm reading, I'm reading your guys' messages while I'm moving around here. I'm kind of just going to an area I haven't been to yet. Let's be honest, some, um, it, yeah, I would assume so with that kind of smoke coming out of it, but you can't see how um, many visible flames currently. Let me go get a closer look to this. Target Strip Mall. These cars are smart to be getting out of here. I'm trying to. I don't know what the fuck. Fucking movie scene right now. It's a fucking movie scene. It is very likely that the National Guard is deploying. Same guy as earlier. I just got out here most recently. Like 30 minutes ago. Look at how black the smoke is coming from that fire. Doesn't look as, as outrageous as I was kind of anticipating.
it is chaos. It is chaos right now. I'm sorry, Christian. Here's where it appears to be somewhat of a standoff. The team protesters police, hands up, state patrol is what their vests say, absolutely brother, I got one. Thank you, though. What's the boon to the mood been like over here, mostly? It's just straight standoff currently. Hey, is anyone, uh, is anyone listening to a scanner at all? See more squad cars pulling up. I just would like to get an update. If there's anything. There's smoke down there. Let's make our way down there. Um, so, just... I don't know. Some info. This year is um, the third precinct off of Lake and Snelling. Across from the target that's being looted and <sighs> destroyed. Third precinct. I saw some other flames I'm going to head towards. Anyone that's new... This is seen out in front of the Lake Street Target here. Still flames across. You can see some pretty thick smoke. At one point there was a small lift on fire. I was a little concerned about it maybe exploding or something. Not sure if it was gas or not. It didn't explode though. I'm just going to hope that that was another firework. A lot of high end nerves. Um, I don't know. I did. I saw some other flames further down Lake Street or some um, more smoke. I'm going to see... I'm gonna head that direction. Get an idea of anything new transpiring. Some crackles coming from this fire now. I was just trying to eavesdrop. It sounded like you were the man at the plant. Um, all right. I was trying to hear what that guy had to say. He was trying to... sounded like he was describing some... Splitting up, uh... Civil unrest tactics. There's more flames. We're gonna do... For anyone that's new, I'm gonna do a ride by here. The flames are spreading pretty good still. People seem to be enjoying it. Let me 
Let me get a flick in front of the buildings burning down. It's gonna be my new Facebook profile. You know what I'm saying? Just kidding. It's kind of disgusting. This transformer is nerve wracking to look at. I'm gonna try and fly under this power line. Heads up, brother man. Oh. If I pop a tire on my bike, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. I already ruined a lens last night. Yeah, I heard heard the National Guard was coming. Tell me more. Tell me more about, uh, yeah, they were taking a picture. Tell me more about the potential threat the National Guard poses, if any. Aren't their jobs just to tactically uh, tear apart protests? Hey, I heard the guard is inbound. Tell me why. I'm not trying to be stubborn. I'm, I'm genuinely curious. Um, this is the direction of some of the other flames that I saw. Here's some more destruction. This is further um, east down Lake Street, past the precinct. I'm trying to see. I'm assuming. They're putting out a fire over here. Kind of disgusting. I don't know if you can hear this woman, but she's not helping. It does look like a movie scene. I completely agree. I have not seen National Guard yet. I hope I don't. I'm gonna ride around this block a little bit. I'm still going a little further down east. Shit, if anything, I hope they got some money out the bank. This is so crazy to me, you guys. Oh shit. Just... I'm gonna get to this fire that they're fighting up here. This looks like a residence. I hope not. They're looking in this bank.
to the U.S. Bank here. Yo, your board's rolling. Have to get this shit run over. Not entirely sure what what to expect. It really does seem like a movie scene. Um, this looks like the furthest east. If this is extending. I'll be able to tell here in a second. Yeah, it's the furthest that the sirens are down. This O'Reilly. I'm uh, going to be working my way back in the direction of where I started. This looks like the furthest east, like I said, that this uh, perimeter is set by the police officers, presumptively, because it looks like there was a residence on fire. An apartment building, which is fucking sad. Um, I'm gonna go check on that construction fire. You got a light knocked over. Yeah, but I'm headed that direction now. I'm trying to kind of... There's a lot happening. Appreciate you. Thank you. It's fairly outrageous. Still trying to get some money, it looks like. Hey, unicorn. Were you out yesterday? You were. No. Yeah. Yeah, you saw a video? I was just going to say thanks for getting the clip. Did you? You were the one who got <clears throat> smashed with the baton in the head. Yeah, the, I'm live too, just so you know. But yeah. You? Yeah, absolutely. Um, yesterday, uh -huh. the police came in. So people got smashed, smashing in the precinct. And yeah. then people got into the parking lot. Yep. And then from the parking lot, the police reacted after that. Right. And the police came in. There was about two or three journalists up at the scene. I was one of them. You were one of them. You want to talk about what you saw and what happened? Yeah. So, I mean, first, I don't know if I consider myself a journalist. I'm just out here for myself. And um, I feel like my presence is powerful along with everyone else's. Um, I don't condone any of the violence personally. And I think that's why um, they reacted the way they did when they came to set their perimeter with the... Um, the amount of violence and destruction that was caused to the building. Um, one input that I heard was um, in that parking lot that was broken into, they were fully equipped squad cars. Um, so there's potentially large, large potential for danger there. Um, but besides that, my incident 
it felt it's, it was crazy because there were so many police that walked past us. Um, and that one officer that singled me out made a beeline directly at me. Um, and I'm not one to play victim. I'm not one to be like, what was me, right? Um, but I did feel singled out in that moment. I was the only colored person in that area. I'm not quick to say that by any means, but that's what it felt like to me. Um, but he made a beeline right for me. I feel like I kind of held my own. I was glad that I was able to respond as opposed to react because my initial reaction is, I'm going to fight this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? You put your hands on me. I don't even get a com command from you until your baton is in my neck. So, um, But it is what it is. We're out here for a purpose. Um, yeah, yeah. Is that bruise on your neck from no, the it's, baton? That's from, uh, you know, it's a little shoddy. You know, <laughs> All right. So um, it did look like it hurt. I, I saw it definitely right in front of my own eyes, a yeah. few feet away from me. How, how, did it, hello, did it hurt? What, how did you feel? No, that? I mean, the adrenaline was so high at the moment, I didn't really feel much pain. I'm not trying to act like a badass, but it's not like it really hurt. You know, I was just like in fight or flight mode. I've, I was scared in that moment. And like I said, I'm just glad that I responded as opposed to reacted because um, I was very freaked out. Yeah, so. Um, there is uh, there were some press organizations that were actually asking what your name was because they thought you were specifically a journalist that was specifically targeted. Yeah, but you were doing journalism. You have cameras. I, you can hands. consider it journalism. So essentially, um, it could be considered journalism by other people. Right. Even if you don't consider it journalism, if you wanted to say your name, you could. Yeah, um, I'll absolutely say my okay. name. Um, so my name is Justin. Last name's Game, and it's spelled G O E. M-A-N, um, if you look me up and reach out to me and I don't reply to you, don't feel bad. <laughs> worry, worry. So, but. So, yeah, and the reason why I bring that up is because they were looking, they were, they were looking at the video and they were shocked and they also wanted to help you in whatever capacity that is. Right. I'm not, really sure. I'm not sure that there is any help that I need in this instance. I mean, I broke a lens yesterday because of the rain. It just got waterlogged. Um, it's kind of my fault, though, for not having the protective equipment. I knew I was coming out in the rain. I should have protected my gear, but no, I don't need any help. We're going to be all right. Um, but I appreciate your moment. I'm gonna pop back out. I'm yeah. sure there's people on here waiting to, to hear. But absolutely. What's your name, though? My name is Nico. Nico? Yeah. Justin, like Justin, I said. Good to meet you, um, probably message you at some point if I can find you. Do that. All right. Georgiatis is my last name. All right. All right. Care, if I can remember that. Yeah. <laughs> I'll try to find you, too. All right. So, Nico with Unicorn Riot. <laughs> Fucking A. I think my. God damn it. My Instagram and Twitter are already blowing up. Um, so I am coming back from, I'm down east side. Let's see. I was past the precinct to the east, um, down Lake Street. Uh, so I just passed the U.S. Bank. Here's the back side of this Denny's. Um, here's some of the fires that were burning before. Um, it's kind of the direction I'm going again. Jesus fucking Christ, my social media is blowing up right now. I should not have said my name on that man's live. I'm also surprised I haven't gotten hit by a car yet. Kind of just recklessly out here. So I'm back, um, you can see the target ahead of me again. So I'm back here at this, this Lake Street target. The fire's still burning. I'm glad to see that that construction did not take up kind of like I thought it was gonna, cause there was a large flame burning directly underneath it. It scared me, I'll tell you that. There was also this flame here, right at this electrical pole. I was nervous that was gonna cause some major sparks. Um, but I did hear on the police scanner on my way down here. I think they cut the power. No, there's still street lights on. I thought I heard mention of cutting some power at one point. But yeah, this is the crane. That's still burning. It smells disgusting. Um, Bo, you asked me to check out... Oh, I rolled right past Aldi. Um, but here I'm back at this Cub Foods. This smoke 
smoke looks like it slowed down a little bit. There's a kitty. I'm going to presume this is loot from Target. No, maybe not. Oh, it's 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 equipment. Salute to those people. People helping people. And my big ad, no. My name is Justin. Um, not much activity over here at this cub right now. Heads up, heads up, don't hit me. I don't think, I don't think that little pot's gonna do much, buddy. If you're gonna cause destruction, at least, like, come prepared to do so. Don't come cause destruction just because it's the fucking dope thing to do right now. One of the people coming out of Cub. I was pretty anxious when I was talking to that guy in Unicorn Ride. My stress is pretty high. I could feel it. I'm just kind of recounting that scenario in yesterday. Um, this is the Target Strip Mall that I'm getting close to here. Some of this, for you new people, this is some of the destruction. The strip mall outside of Target. This dude was pissed because they came too late for the looting. Some of the attitudes out here, I just, just I can't believe, but we're out here. The favorite, I don't condone this violence or any of this destruction. I'm not a fan of it. I'm not happy about it. I'm not for it. Looks like they're trying to burn down this target now. Who fucking knows? No, no one was there. Most of this area, I think, was closed down as far as the businesses and activity and anticipation. Um for what's transpiring tonight. Woo! I don't know how well you guys can hear me. Someone tell me real quick, how's my voice? Do I need to speak louder? There are flames inside of Target. Thanks, Emily. Currently, they robbed the, the pharmacy. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, here, let's look at this again. Let's look at this again. Yeah, if you're parked here, you probably want to move. You definitely want to move. Just, you can park in a neighborhood half a mile away and walk back. It's very surreal. I completely agree. There's a shit ton more people in here. I'm watching this live than there was before. I just want to reiterate one thing. Um, I'm, I'm not live right now doing this for me. This is not an ego thing. I don't want the attention. I'm doing this. I think it's important to document. I think it's important to show up. Again, I'll repeat, I don't condone the violence, but 
There's strength in numbers, and there's power in my presence. Yeah, I noticed that. Um, this target is gonna burn, though. I don't know how much fireproof target has. He said, fuck this country, nigga, move out. Move out. You are absolutely welcome. How is this road reopened? How are cars on here again? Let's find out. Unless they're pulling up and turning around. Um, just an update on location. I'm I'm directly out front the precinct right now off of Lake and Snelling uh, or Lake Minnehaha, whatever, the Third Street Precinct. Um, you can see further east. It looks like they maybe have that fire put out. Who knows? Um, there was a, a residential fire, from what I could tell. I'm at the I'm at the police station now. I'm at the police station now. You can see. Um, there's officers behind the barricade. Hey, why are you why are you pointing it? Why are you pointing it? We got nothing. 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 No justice, no peace. 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 shit. You don't know this. You're quiet like this. You don't know that shit is wrong. I just saw a man's eating a frozen pizza, bro. What the fuck has gotten into people? Um, I'll have to check Aldi. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, I can see the front of Aldi right now, actually. Uh, here, sorry, better view. I'm heading, I'm back eastward down Lake Street. Um, they got a barricade here. I'm not sure. Sounds like some major sirens that I haven't, oh, it's a security alarm. I'm tripping, I'm tripping. Um, I'm gonna roll back over that direction. I was there a little bit ago. There's a lot of new people in here since then. Um, update, pulling up to Aldi here. Aldi had some smashed windows. I don't know if there was any fire inside or not. Um, I guess we'll try to see. Here's Aldi here. Put it down! Put it down! Put it down! He's gone! Put it down! That's enough! Don't come up in here fucking with my shit, man. I'm so sorry. Motherfuckers. Motherfuckers, man. All right, let me take a breath. Let me take a breath real quick. Fuck out of here, nigga. What? What? Nah, nigga, I ain't getting off no bike. I ain't out here to fight my people. The fuck? Dumbass nigga, man. Fucking idiot. 
<sighs> I probably want to talk for a sec. Give me a sec. Give me a second, guys. I'm gonna stop here for a moment in this parking lot. And I can I'll try and get you a view of the fire or something. God damn, I haven't reacted with that much anger and I don't know how long. I'm legit about to uh, to change my shirt, actually. That's why I brought two. Just for an incident like that. I don't want to fucking hurt anybody tonight. I'm just kidding. That's not the attitude I'm trying to have. Where's the location on that? Give me a location. Lucas Meyer, please. I would appreciate it. Coming to check out what this crowd is over here. It's being loud and rowdy. We are at the Target for Lake Street, um, Lake Street and Snelling, South Side Minneapolis. Whew, I'm still fucking 
feeling just cracked from that fucking blowout I just had. God damn. This is the inside of Target. This is that exact window I was out when we could see the, the fire burning before. I'm not sure if you can, if you were here for that. Um, the fire looks like it's out inside of Target. Still lots of smoke. I'm sure there's little fires throughout the store. Still looking at Target here. Um, I just want to say it again. I think I've said it each time I've passed this spot. Um, I'm not down here streaming this live for me. I don't condone the violence on either side. Although, there may be appropriate argument for it. I'm here because there's strength in numbers and my presence is power. Um and sharing, bringing this to you the best way I can. Anyone who can't be here, showing live, almost got hit by a car again, showing uh, a live look at the situation. It's, uh, oh fuck, I dropped my camera. God damn it. I don't even know what the fuck I was saying because I just realized this. I'm fucked. Big explosion down the street. We'll go to that next. Hopefully my camera's still here. If not, I'm gonna fucking cry, but whatever, because I'm alive, right? I am fucking alive. Where was I? I was at this tree. Oh my God, it is still here. What? How the fuck is it still here? Yeah, Arthur, thank you. I knew that's where I set it down. Nah, Michael, do not start a GoFundMe. No. No. No, no, no. I got my camera. I am fucking grateful, though, that that was still there. Um, I did just hear uh, an explosion further east on Lake Street. Um, we're going to ride that direction. This is that original fire that I pulled up to first. We're here in front of Aldi, next to Wendy's, on the other side of Karma. Yeah, seriously. No, I'll be honest. I've had some pretty good wins in 2020. It hasn't been easy, but it felt good. Heads up! Damn! Jesus Christ. Everyone's trying to get hit. Jesus. I'm just playing. I'm a lover, not a fighter, but don't make me fight you. I'm trying to see what that explosion may have been. Hey, was there an explosion this way recently? Yeah, like two minutes ago down like... Yeah, Is it further I down? I didn't, see, I, didn't, I didn't see a fireball or anything. I just heard it. Okay, thank you. Whoop. feel bad for I'm surprised cars aren't getting destroyed at least the majority of this destruction seems to be uh, specifically targeted at businesses except for the one residence I did see on fire 
That was fairly unfortunate. I think they got that put out though. Here we are down. Nah, bro. Ain't got no, ain't got no room for it to give you no ride. I'm just keep trying to keep my head on straight. I don't know how dumb I'm sounding right now. I don't really care. Is this where there was that explosion? Huh? Was this explosion right here? Though? I, I wasn't supposed to just a pretty fire. Okay. <laughs> it was yeah, fun. Dude, it was, dude, it was the coolest <laughs> shit you ever seen in your life when this shit was like, Oh, it was like the flames were so high. I it was so this beautiful, one. dude. I don't know about oh, beautiful. I almost said you missed it, dude. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't miss it, and I don't think it's beautiful. Hello, officers. Hope you make it home tonight. Wishing you well. I meant that. This is seen down down Lake Street. I'm at Lake and 28th. I'm not sure exactly. Oh, they're still working on that residential fire that I mentioned. Um, okay, it's pretty quiet over here, though. <laughs> this is the fool that's walking up to cars. I got 24 rides. Bro, walk your ass. Where are you trying to go? Yeah, that sounds sketchy as fuck, honestly, with all this mayhem going on. Yo, if you out here driving, don't let no stranger in your car. Please and thank you. <coughs> Excuse me. So there's still some of the aftermath that's been quiet over here for a while. Denny's. Rolling back up to the front of Aldi again. Let's go. I'm gonna go to the front of the precinct. I think I went to treatment with that guy. He had longer hair though. I'm gonna pull up to the front of the precinct again, um, where the standoff was really occurring. Those were, sounds like gunshots, you guys. Those are gunshots, I believe. That wasn't too quick and inconsistent of secession. What the fuck do I know, but, fuck. I don't know where Jack is. Were those gunshots? Yeah, over by the Cup Foods parking lot. I wouldn't go over there. They, this guy thinks there were gunshots also. This is this is the inside of this auto zone. Let's see. getting rowdy. You heard that too? That looks like a setup for disaster right there too. Fire right below the transformer. Yeah, definitely pistol shots, if anything. Gunshots, would you agree? Yeah. Trying to get a trying to get a consensus here. Lethal force authorized. That sounds outrageous to me. If that's how the city responded, I don't know. I might condone burning it down. I 
I hear gunshots and I come to where I think they came from. Am I crazy? Who's that? Oh, what's good? It is crazy. They're everywhere. They are everywhere. How are you feeling? I'm live. Oh, I'm doing good, man. Just out here trying to document the shit that's going on in this movie. What's the what's the general vibe you're feeling? Uh, anger. Yeah. A lot of uh, anguish out here happening. It's really just chaotic. Yeah, it's hard for me to speak on. I don't really. Yeah. I was here last night. It took me 24 hours to really wrap my head around what I thought about it. But I was here last night too. I was at the actual protest too. So. Yeah. Yeah, be safe. Further west, um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna go try. I'm gonna go get on Lake here um, to the west of the precinct here, and uh, I'll try and get a view further down. See if it's expanded anywhere. This is fucking mayhem though. It's a movie, it really is. I was telling my friends earlier, you know, if this is a simulation, I think mine's crashing. Hey, thank you all. Oh, hey, what's good? Nerdy. Yeah, what up, man? What's good? You remember me? Yeah, dude. How are you? I'm safe? doing okay. I'm safe. I'm live right now, just so you know you're on it. Hey, everybody. What's up? Safe. Nerdy in the building. I'm just curious, what's your uh, feeling right now? How are you feeling? I'm feeling that there's a lot of people out here that hurt, that have been hit, that there's all... We found this abandoned medic station yep. back there. Mm -hmm. The medics left when the fire started. Okay. So uh, we've been walking around making sure people get their cuts bandages, uh, their cuts bandaged, yeah, hand sanitizer, masks, water, keeping people as safe as we can, um, trying to keep people, so people understood what's kind of going on, mm -hmm. keep abreast to some of the other situations. Absolutely. Well, you, I'll let you do you. I appreciate yeah. you. We'll see you. Keep spreading that love. Sounds corny, but I mean it. All right. Back on the, the mission. We're going west. Back in front of Target. Shout out Nerdy out here with the group. They found an abandoned, medi abandoned medical supply cart, they said. Um, apparently the medics that were tending to them left the scene when the fire started. I don't know if, how well you guys could hear him. Um, they left when the fire started and they took, they took control. They've been out here trying to help people, help bandage wounds um, and just provide, provide aid. Hi, pretty boy. Um, this is the view west of Lake Street. Not much. I, that looks like traffic's moving pretty smooth. Um, if anyone has any updates on anything happening in any other part of the city, feel free to let me know. Um, I'll try to check it out if I can. Uh, as far as I know, just the Lake Street area. But... Um, I thought that guy was talking to me. I got lost. Yeah, I don't know what I was saying. My boy hurts. Burnsville, what are you talking about? Can we confirm some of this? Back outside the precinct here. Um, oh. I don't know if they're going inside or what. From what I heard since, this is just speculation, I think, but. Um, 
Uh, charges won't come very quickly. One, there's my guy Jack. One, because if they rush it, it might not stick. Um, and two, it's it's a federal investigation at this point. Um, Holy fuck. It's a federal <laughs> investigation at this point, so it's not going to be the local DA that's responsible for pressing charges. Yeah, it's a lot of people. What's up with you? What have you seen so far? Anarchy, pretty much. Where have you Where have you been? I was everywhere, bro. Like that target is completely packed. Like, Pull it down for a sec. I thought that other building was gonna start a fire. Like, Me too. I was I was worried it wasn't fireproof, but the live told me that they it's the wood that they put on initially is probably fireproof. So. The live keeps telling me the National Guard is deployed to the area. Um, someone just said they're arriving. With potential authorization of lethal force. I don't they know. They say that, you know, they give I us that's know. if like someone shoots at them type shit. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what to think, you guys, so don't listen to me. Um, but yo, I'm glad that I ran into you again. I've been everywhere. Yeah. yeah. It's insane. Dude. I'm gonna keep moving though. I don't wanna stay yeah, still too long. Call me if you need. I don't know. Call me. Well, I can't really answer, but text me if there's something yeah, urgent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll respond. You know what it is? I guess. Again, this is the view from the front of the third third street precinct. Um, there's quite a few of them. There is National Guard on scene. I do see National. Hey, you were out here yesterday. I do see National Guard going inside now. Hey, excuse me, sir. Sir, excuse me. Howdy. I spoke with you yesterday briefly. Um, how are you feeling tonight? Do you mind being on live? I can move it away from you. Um, how do you feel tonight, though? I'm a little tired. Tired? But I'm still out here, you know? Yeah. yeah. Speaking. Staying out of trouble, not trying to get hurt, you know? You're being hurt? I'm not trying to be hurt, get hurt. Are you being hurt? Well, I, I was able to talk to the, uh, the National Guard a little bit, you know? As they walked in? Yeah. They come in through the back here? Yeah, well, they, they were kind of coming in and out. Can you tell what they're equipped with at all? Uh, they, got, they got big guns, you know? Are they assault rifles? Yeah, pretty much. Are you civilian? Yeah. Okay. I live two blocks away, man. Yeah. It's pretty so, pretty disgusting to see it happen to your community. It's my duty to come out here and protest, but you know, like protest it nonviolently. I agree. That's what I've been doing both two nights, you know. That's why I find myself personally. Strength in numbers. My presence is power. Yeah. But stay safe. Yeah, you too, man. Keep uh, that head covered. Yeah, that's the biggest thing. I'm about to get there. That's yep. the biggest thing, man. You know, I'm about ready to start a PhD program. Yeah. And I just gotta, I, you know, I gotta protect my head. Absolutely. You yeah. Know, if I get a brain injury, I can't do a PhD, right? All right. And a rubber bullet <laughs> easily could cause that. Good luck to you. Yeah, thank you. I'm wishing man. you well. Yeah, Stay safe. Um, just an update. He didn't want his face on the camera. Um, but I spoke with that man briefly last night. I don't know if I was live at the time. I was just live on Instagram, whatever. Um, I really appreciated a lot of the things that he had to say. There was something about him, though. I asked him if he was civilian because I, I was genuinely curious if he was civilian. Um, the way he's, the way he moves and his demeanor seems so composed, as if he's like trained for the scenario. But I'll believe him when he says he's civilian. Still, like I said, this is the front of the precinct. Oh, he did. He also said. 
kind of sketch. I asked him uh, what he saw the National Guard equipped with. He told me, big guns. That's not very reassuring. By any means. Again, um, it's a view of the front of the third precinct. Pretty bad, Jessica. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go do another ride by in a second of kind of the perimeter of everything that's happening down here. Everything that I've seen, at least. Um, see if anything's changed. This is the scene, though, currently outside. Um, uh, la la la. Sorry. Per uh, currently outside the third precinct. Up here blasting some. <laughs> Raul's trolling the National Guard. Okay. Um, all right. Here we go. We're gonna we're gonna commence on a ride. Oh, here is the liquor store. I overheard her say that. She's taking a look here. They're guarding it, respectfully so. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just kind of seeing there is some destruction down here I didn't really witness before. Just lots of bottles in the car. Yeah, Matt, I, I broke my Sigmar lens last night. I'm using a, like, 1990s kit lens from a fucking, like, 2TI Rebel film camera. And it's, it's a little tough on that aspect right now. To me right now, um, this live is a little more important. I feel I can hopefully save this and recover it. Um, I don't know... I don't, I'm not one to, I'm not going to give you any type of recommendation. You do what feels right. I'm down here because I feel obligated by my morals to have my presence here. The strength in numbers, power and presence. Um, I'm just going to say it again. I don't condone the violence on either side. It's disgusting to see, but no, no. Ultimately, it's up to you. It's up to you if you want to come down here. I am not going to re recommend one way or another. Just do what's right for you. Here's this auto zone again. It's auto zone. Uh, I think this is the first fire that was reported I'm not sure it's the first one that I had heard of at least um, back over here look at the Aldi where I potentially saved a man's life tonight uh, I I'm honestly not scared of being arrested. I'm not here committing any violence. I'm not causing any damage. It's within my right to be here. Um, I don't intend on leaving unless my gut tells me to right now. I'm kind of on the fence, but 
I'm gonna stick it out. This is uh, back to this first fire. Uh, first fire that I that I pulled up to. People are wilding right now. People are wilding right now. I was really, really worried this construction fire was, or this, this gonna, yeah, this construction fire was gonna go up. <sighs> but it looks like the preventative measures did their job, huh? That's good. Um, past this here. This is Cub Foods that was up here. I thought that was my brother in that car. This is Cub Foods that's up here. Huh, thanks, Jimbo. I think Jay Cheryl will call my lawyer if anything went down. So it's just some of the gathering up here by this Cub Foods. Oh shit, they put that. Wow, I missed that. I saw this semi truck earlier. I had a hunch that uh, they were trying to break into it. There was something that I was trying to get to. I can't remember what it was. But now it's on fire. So we're gonna go ride by that. That's new. Likely will blow up, he's right. The diesel truck. Let's watch this for a moment. Hey, where's the uh, gas tank on a semi truck? It's in like the rear. It's like the bottom middle of the sleeping cab underneath. It's a semi truck. There goes something. Back of the cab side of the door. That's what I thought, so yeah. Cab driver, I mean, yeah. Doesn't look like the fire's made it there yet. Can't tell though. It's just the engine is completely up in flames. Don't hit me. It doesn't explode? Okay. Gotcha. Why the fuck are people still out here fighting? reason to fight each other. Uh, I think Justin Brown taught me that's something about inner culture, the difference in a political opinion within culture. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. This is that cup food, so not nearly as much smoke pouring out of it as there was before. People saw it here getting lit. That's that semi truck blowing up. Damn it, I fucking moved away. Sorry, I missed it for you guys. I'm gonna get in there though. I don't know. It was just a big fireball. It wasn't even loud. Could you guys hear it? Um, I don't know. To answer Nicole Larson, I think from what I heard, um, they have tactics of, of dispersing protests. I don't know if people... I know there's a few people in here that were in the National Guard themselves or are currently in. Um, but supposedly they have a uh, tactic of dispersing protests, but I'm not sure if that's true or not. Um, but I think that would be the case and make arrests. True. For further deterrent. 
You're probably right. I'm glad I wasn't close. Hell yeah, I'm on a bike. It's the only way I can get around here. Uh, quickly. I'm not trying to run all over the fucking place. Shout out, bike. Holy fuck. Fuck the police. Fuck the police. Hey, yo, that's, that's, what what that's what I'm talking about. He was brandishing a gun out of his car. I quickly moved away. I'm good on an it fucking I'm good on some idiot brandishing a gun, accidentally firing it into my face. Back to Target here. I'm gonna go to the end of this strip mall and kind of show you the whole whole thing again for anyone that's in here new. Um, pretty good destruction, looting, attempted fires. It looks like most of the sprinkler systems were successful in putting out the fires. Um, but what do I know? I wasn't here for everything. So again, this is the strip mall, Target, uh, Lake Street and Snelling, south side, across the street from the 3rd Street Precinct, Minneapolis, Minnesota. I'm here. Like I said, I'll go to the front of the store, or the end of the strip mall. Still in the Dollar Tree. They got a chainsaw going. They're cutting up in a safe right now. I don't know if that mask is just sufficient to stop in the coronavirus, but it looks good. <laughs> he said be safe. Thank you. Hey, you guys just down here as civilians yourself? Is this your business at all? Yeah. It is, the three of you? Yeah. Do you mind being on my live real quick for a couple of questions? Mm -hmm. You don't mind? What's the feeling tonight? What's the feeling like? Free. I was actually down there to protest myself. But I had to get over here because I know everybody was going to... I had to get over here because I know everybody was probably going to be on something like this. Yeah. You know? So you are a business owner, you say? Yes, sir. Which business is yours? Right here, the... Okay, right here. Laundromat here. Uh, kept your coins safe, at least. Too bad about that window, but you're looking maybe in better shape. It was going good all night. All night. No catastrophes, but you know... Huh? No. What? As I was saying, like... Until some young girl... You know, she, I guess, she wanted to be a part of the action. So something wasn't destroyed, so she had to avoid it. Did you go throw something at it? Deal, you know, do you live here in the community then yourself? I do. I don't even know what you're talking about. Like, how, being that, I'm just curious how to ask this. Being that you are a business owner in this area, you're a part of the community, and of course it brings you, I'm sure, some level of pain like it does the rest of us watching that video of George Floyd. Do you think the response tonight is... They've had it pent up, I think. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Um, one, one last note before I keep rolling. I'm going to try and get an update on the rest of this stuff. Do you have anything, last words you want to say? Uh, I just want to say uh, peace to the people. 
I'm with y'all. I'm not with this, but I'm with y'all 100%. You Absolutely. Know what I'm there was a, 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 a notation I would like to say about uh, Target. The reason why they hit the Target is because when they were protesting yesterday, the tear gas, I was, I was expecting to hit myself. They had to walk me home, as a matter of fact. But they hit Target because people had tear gas in their eyes. And all the other businesses were, were doing what they could, you know, as far as what I know. Especially cup food. I'm sorry they got hit. Yeah. Um, you know they were giving out milk. You know for people that uh, had tear gas in their eyes and dealing with the pain and all the suffering and stuff. And Target wasn't Target doing none of wasn't that. Having it at a certain at a certain point, and that was it was like a big blow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. That, uh, I think that's some good perspective that I haven't heard yet. Um, yeah. It was curious to I was curious as to why is the precinct on fire. It looks like it might be now. Holy fuck, I'm gonna ride over there. Yeah. One last, what was your name again? My name's Michael. Michael. Michael, I'm glad to meet you. I'm Justin. Um, Michael is a business owner here. He lives in the community. Yeah, Target stopped serving um, people that were trying to come in for milk and supplies from the tear gas and things that were happening yesterday. Um, we're gonna keep rolling. I appreciate you. I'm sending you love your way. Absolutely. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that, man. Shout out to Michael. Let's run up the love on that little comment there. I agree. I'm glad to see um, he was able to get in front of his business and protect it a little bit. He suffered a broken window there. But it looked like nothing in comparison to the damage to the rest of these buildings um, that are fully smashed out, looted. We heard a, a chainsaw going not long ago. Um, up here, it looks like the precinct is on fire. Um, it might be the building next to it, but we got a job to do. We're gonna go find out. There's a good cart fire. Another look inside a Target here. I agree. Looting will likely solve nothing. Um, no, that's not the precinct. Oh, that's still the auto zone. I'm tripping. I got my perspective all fucked up. The auto zone fire looks like it got bigger. Looks like it got bigger. We're gonna go check it out. Do another ride by here. Here's a precinct here. And Third Street Precinct for anyone just tuning in. Lake Street, Minnehaha, south side of Minneapolis. They're deploying a couple of vehicles out of there right now. Auto zone is back up. Some pretty big flames. This is the front door of the precinct. Heads up, brother man. Excuse me. Just a live look at the front of the precinct. It looks like the amount of people that were up here has died down a little bit. Um, here's the auto zone fire that's gotten bigger. Yeah, I saw National Guard quite some time ago. Um, not in the streets though. Not in the street. They were just at the precinct. 
just uh, I saw them walking into the precinct and then uh, standing on the front step. Hear more sirens. Some sparks coming out of here. The wall's gonna collapse. Roll in front of here. Yeah, that's horrible. You're right. Think of all the batteries, Bert. I'm popping off right now. Hopefully none they don't come blasting me in the face, but Big fire. I can feel the heat right now. I agree, Ricky. AutoZone had nothing to do with the police. I see, I'm gonna check on the semi fire up here. Back out. I'm back out in front of uh, Aldi. Oh, they got a little barricade up here now. People are just out here looking for things to steal right now. That guy just had a bolt cutters. Another barricade here. I think they're just blocking off the street from this fire, I believe. I'm not sure. <laughs> Real life for dance, Jared. The fuck out of here. I ain't got no AX50 or M4. <laughs> we are just here. That, that fire is burning pretty heavy. These officers, there's quite a few over here. I'm not sure where from. Or why this intersection? I have to believe it's from that the semi truck fire. Though I'm gonna go to the other side. <sighs> Feels like the purge, but no. If it were the purge, the police wouldn't be on the street. Yeah, I, I thought that too. Should we go look at AutoZone again? See if that wall's gonna cave in real quick. Let's do that. It's fucking just going down. When I first got here, this was the the first reported fire, I believe. This auto zone that I saw on uh, social media. Um, it was pretty dead once I got here. It's back to a full blaze, though. People hesitant to go in. I do not blame them. I'm not sure how it went up again. I don't think it was, it wasn't completely put out. I'm not sure if there was ever even any uh, fire station deployed over here. I'm not really sure. fire department did oh yeah i'm not sure then it must not have been completely put out i i think they probably responded to the residential fire that was down the street um when i got here because that's where most of the the firefighters that i had seen were ah 
I mean, I rode right past it. I'm not sure. How many different stores? Um, if I had to guess off the top of my head, 18. I'm not sure though. 18 seems like a good number. Minimum 18, but I've also heard stuff for, uh, that there's potentially stuff happening in other parts of the city. Um, I'm, I'm down here on my bike right now, covering this area, so I'm not too sure about all that. There's some little mini explosions happening in there right now. I'm gonna kinda crouch down behind this wall. Apple Store is dumb. They're probably not going to be able to activate any of those devices. Again, I've been repeating it multiple times, but the number of people um, that are in this live What's exploding? I believe it's batteries inside of this uh, auto zone. Um, but for the amount of people joining here now, I just want to reiterate, uh, I'm not doing this for me. Um, get out of here, Butchie. I got to stop reading comments. Um, I'm not doing this for me, though. I'm down here because I find it important um, to be a part of. Um, presence is power. I don't condone any of the violence on either side um not one to violence but the one argument i did here is you know maybe it'll make police officers reconsider their decision in the future they don't want to see this happen to their city and they don't want to be the cause of it um i i am disgusted seeing the amount of damage down here um, but to that point gives me a little a little something to think about I guess this wall is going down this I'm gonna keep it here for a second There it goes. It's falling. There it goes. Power in number. Presence is power. Here it goes. This is what was formerly known as an auto zone. Across from Denny's. Are you sure that's new? I don't know if that's a new fire. I'll check it out though. Thanks for the tip. Thanks for the tip. Um, this is the auto zone. Again, I think this was the first fire that was reported of the evening. Or no, yeah, I think auto zone was the first fire. Um, when I got here, it was pretty much dead. It's returned to a full blaze and has now collapsed. Many explosions popping off. This is burning very, very hot. Very hot. Yeah! All right. Um, We'll check back on this. We'll check back. I heard tip of another fire outside of Denny's. Mm -hmm. 
Where is Denny's? Oh yeah, it's over. I think that fire was a fire, an old fire um, at, at a residence that's since been put out. Um, we're gonna, gonna pull into that alleyway. A lot of people just happened to join just now probably because I was just sitting out front of this auto zone. Um, because that was a pretty intense scenario. I would have shared it if that's what I'd just seen too. Lake and Hennepin, really? Can anyone confirm that for me? Lake and Hennepin? We've seen quite a bit over here. Um, I might move to a new location if there is something going on. Uh, say again? It's a bit rough. Here's, this is where that Denny's was that someone me me mentioned before. Um, across from it, I'm not sure. I couldn't see much again, like I said. I think it was just that residential fire that happened a long time ago and has been since been put out. We're gonna double check. We're gonna double check. Here we go, this is Lake Street and 28th, I believe, south side. What's my phone battery at? That's a good question. I'm not sure. I've got two portables with me, though. There's no new fires over here, is there? No. Oh, okay. He said, I can't hear you. That's okay. He responded peacefully. I appreciate it. It appears they're taking off quite a bit of their riot gear, kind of relaxing a little bit. Um, this is behind them. I'm on a bike. I'm on a bike, Derek. Um, behind them is that residential fire I mentioned. Uh, I think that's the fire someone said across from Denny's, unless it was a different Denny's location. The police officers over here do look pretty relaxed. Um, hopefully it remains that way. I hope that fire is completely out. I'm not sure. I am not sure. I'm wanting to uh, try to, sp to speak to one of these. I, I need confirmation that anything um, is happening down there before I decide to tr make a trip down that, that far. Um, just cause I am on my bike but it looks like it's pretty lax over here. I'd like to speak to one of these officers if they wouldn't mind, but I doubt, I doubt they'd be open to it. I'm gonna try and just get a closer look at the damage of this fire that was over here. lights all the way down the street though that's down that's the east side so I'm gonna ride back yeah I didn't think they would a couple a couple have but I'm not trying to push any buttons I've rode through this alley so many times because the, the road in front of here is blocked off. Um, I heard earlier potentially that a pawn shop owner had fire a, fired a weapon at somebody when they attempted to loot the store. Um, I think potentially that's why that street's blocked off. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but I did notice there was a pawn shop on that street. So it's kind of my speculation. What do I know though? Fuck, that is a new fire. They got Wendy's on fire now. Wendy's was not on fire before. Yeah, the auto zone is still going for sure. 100% it is. Wendy's drive through on fire.
owner shot and killed the looter. What do you know? Was it the uh, pawn shop here off of Lake Street? That's very sad that that happened. Very sad. That's the, that's the back side of the auto zone here. <laughs> Wendy's do be nasty anyways. I can agree with that. I don't agree with it burning to the ground, but I could do without it. This is, again, I'm repeating myself quite a bit at this point. This is one of the first fires that I saw, got up to. Um, it was pretty big. I was concerned that this whole building that's under construction was going to go ablaze. Uh, it didn't. It looks like most of the preventative measures that they have worked. Here's that semi-truck again. It's pretty much almost completely burned to the ground. There is a lot of active fires. I wish I had a number, if anyone has a mental number they took. Right past this semi-fire that just burnt all the way down. Boom! <laughs> I think that's the nigga that was trying to fight me earlier too. Sounds like more gunshots. People running. Seriously, sounds like gunshots. I'm not just saying that. Um, I don't know though. Um, Cub Foods, smoke's died down quite a bit. Someone, uh, sorry, I'm not reading the comments very much. Give me a... Yeah, Connor? Connor, Connor, good to see you again. I didn't think it'd be so soon. Yeah, I know, right? How are you feeling tonight? You mind being on the live? Do you mind being on the live? Um, yeah. Okay. What was your uh, kind of general consensus from, from today? I mean, I know it's, it's a lot to wrap your head around. I don't think I could answer that question right now. I'm just curious. It seems like I keep coming back to the thing. People say about, you know, the conditions that create. Right. Absolutely. I think the, the best argument for looting that I saw, which I'll just repeat, I'm not for, um, is that it'll make the, the officers in the future rethink their actions um, because they see the destruction it could potentially cause to their city. Um, but hey, I'm going to turn back. Safe ride home. I'm just going around. I've been live for a bit. I'm not. not oh, you, okay. All right. Oh, I was following you. <laughs> Uh, Connor, I met him yesterday, I ran past him, uh, ran into him when I ran into someone else that I knew. Uh, he recognized me here, so. Um, also, have you heard anything about um, Uptown? I've heard that. Yeah, um, from what I read here, the, um, oh, sorry, from what I read here on the comments, um, the Uptown Apple Store was looted. There was some attempted looting. I don't have really any other facts in that. Supposedly, there's some situations happening down in Midtown. Sorry, I'm just gotta put you back on here. Um, till further down Lake Street, I'm trying to get some information on that. Um, but I'm gonna keep keep going, I guess. Um, yeah, pretty wild. It sounded like gunshots quite a few times. Yeah, that's what I was hearing over here too. I was trying to stay away from that. Yeah. I. Go down the lake. Okay. Yeah, I might pull up to the front of the precinct and kind of see what the mood is there. I haven't been up there for a bit. I'm getting off the sidewalk, though. Um, all right, that was just a little interlude. Connor. Hey, Connor, Malika knows you. <laughs> Malika just said, I know Connor. I went to high school with her. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Malika's the best. Said you're the Sending best. Your Sending your love, is that you said? Yes. I think they heard you. You got to look both ways. Thanks. All right, um, still kind of the scene in front of Target here. You can see fire burning still. 
realistically not much has changed in the past little bit. I'm not even sure what time it is. Someone tell me what time it is. Are y'all gonna try and cancel me before my live is even over because I said nigga? Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. I'm not doing this for me anyways. Um, I'm pulling up to Target now to kind of see. There's still people coming in and out. It is not 137? What? Is it? Damn, I didn't realize it was so late. Um, all right. Well, I have a lot of fucking energy for sleeping three hours last night. Trying to wrap my head around what transpired last night. This is, I don't know if exhilarating is the right word. Um, I feel like exhilarating has like a positive connotation to it. My stress level's heightened for sure. This is the target. Earlier, some of you might remember through that exact window, there was a pretty big fire um, inside a Target. Oh shit, bro. This is, this is the wall. This is Target here, the wall outside of Target. Tons of graffiti. People still debating whether or not to go in and if it's worth it, I think. This nigga's got candy. Call me out for saying nigga again. I'm pulling kind of back towards the Sato zone and the front of the third precinct. I wanna, kind of looks like more people have gathered um, in front of the precinct. I don't know how much you can see. Yeah, I'm curious the inside of Target too. I was debating that, but we'll maybe come back to it. There's a lot of smoke in there. Auto zone. Is it full of water? Yeah, I'm sure there's sprinklers. Deployed a shit ton of water. It looks like most of the sprinkler systems in that strip mall worked. So, if there's anything positive. What's up? Not cool. What? What's going on is not cool. Oh, man. I agree. Not cool. Not cool. Not cool at all. Keep going, man. You're going to miss it all. All right. I, don't, I, thought, I thought he had something to say to me. I wasn't sure. Shout out these fat ass tires, though. Riding over glass, not too worried. This is the people gathered in front of the strip mall sign. I'm not sure. Um, the crowd has died a bit. I'm not sure if I'd say most people are going home. I'm not sure where they're going. from right where I am right now to give you just an idea. Here's the front of the Third Street Precinct. There's a small, um, I'd call it small. There's a lot more people earlier than yesterday, but diagonally across the street is this auto zone fire, directly across the street. In this building, from when I got here and the fire appeared to be out and it was just smoke smoldering out of the building um to now fully being being fully ablaze um i'm not sure 
you know? I'm not sure if more people are here to loot or protest, but there's Jack again. Look at that bitch. I know, it's wild. I don't know if more people are here to loot or protest, but I can say I don't condone the violence. There's strength in numbers. There's power in my presence. There is power in presence. They stopped guarding this liquor store. What the fuck is this dumbass doing? People are just being dumb. They stopped guarding this liquor store before some of you probably noticed. Um there was a good 10, 15 cops out here beforehand. Quite a bit. There's none now. It must have been needed elsewhere. Hey, someone... Uh, someone, uh, give me some updates. What's, what's happening across the city? Active looting from that liquor store I just mentioned. Another building. Oh, that's that construction fire went up. The higher floors of that building are on fire now. I thought I thought that building was pretty much out. It's going up now. Damn. This is the bi biggest building that has been on fire tonight. Um, it is by far going to produce the most flames if it keeps spreading like this. I'm not sure. It looks pretty big right now. Look at that American flag. Just nicely burning right in front of it. Screen record, someone screen record that American flag real quick. This construction fire is huge. This is what I was worried about earlier. Look at it. This is massive. I'm 40 yards away at least and the heat is insane. Being a fucking pyro myself, Kind of pretty, because I like flames, but fuck, it's disgusting to see. Guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit down for a second. We're gonna watch this uh, fire. I'm gonna plug in my portable power. Um, I'm running low. Uh, this, just for location's sake. Um, this is right across the street from this Aldi that I was at earlier. To just give you a sense of where, where we're at. I'm 
gonna back up a little bit. I wanna try and get as much of this building in here as we can. Sorry guys, readjusting. We'll be stable in a second. Update guys, the flames are getting pretty, pretty damn hot. Um, very hot. Guys, update. Massive fire. Still a Wendy's burning here. Auto zone. This apartment fire is madness. Look at that crane, it's about to be fully engulfed. It is getting very hot. I'm sweating. <laughs> 